All right, so we're here on the railway, just east of Mackey's. And where we are here is at the very top of something called the turning Y. And the turning Y is basically an inverted Y on the tracks that allows the trains to turn around. Now, as you can see, it's very, very heavily grown in and it's very, very difficult to walk around here. You can see how they had to do a little bit of cutting here to, to do the railway. This spot gives you a little bit better idea. It's a little more open here. Okay, so the top end is just over there and the rest is right here. Okay, so you can see all the cutting that they did to create this Y. So the track would have been right here in the middle. All right, so we're a little bit farther up and you can see once again, the steep banks of the, uh, of the cutting. We came back from that direction. You can see the steep banks on the west side. And you can make out the grade here right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is turn off and then I'm gonna come back when we get to the junction of the two tracks. All right, so we're still here at the turning Y at Mackey's, and right now we're where the two legs, the two pieces of track come together. And so you can actually see the western leg here, and across this little dip, you can actually see the eastern side. Um, very heavily grown in here. There are some little pine trees and things here, so. It's a little bit easier to see. You can see the other side of the of the Y over there. And so you can see the rail bed over here. It'd be nice if it's cleared out so you can see it a lot more clearly. All right, so we're still here on the turning Y. And the turning Y is up there, in the west leg. And kind of a neat little find. Right here, down here at the bottom, so we have what's left of a wooden culvert. And a dog get malaria. <laughs> Pop over and see what's on the other side. All right, so we're on the other side, unfortunately, it's all covered in deadfall, so you can't really see the other side of the culvert. There's the uh, rail bed there. All right, so we're here on the railway, just west of the Y. You can see the highway down there. And here's the railroad grade. You can see there's a little bit of rock work here. Not really too many physical features on this section. It's one of actually the few open areas on this section. It's very heavily thrown in. You can see a little bit of rock work that was done. And then we're back into the really difficult stuff right here. And it becomes very heavily grown in. All right, so we're here around the location of Mackey's. And this is probably where the siding might have been, if you'll notice. That it seems like there's a, a double wide section here. So 
this could, could possibly might have been where the siding was. You notice over here there's just a slight little bit of rock work. You can hear the vehicles on the road, which is just over there. About a hundred feet. And you get to see some of the rocks that were used to make the grade. The railway continues that way. You can see some of the rock work here. It stretches back that way. All right, so we're just west of Mackey's here. And nice little find. This is a telegraph pole. Remember seeing this back in the, in the 90s. So there's the cross beam. You can still see the uh, the peg. No insulator. Probably long gone. But I found one. You can see the wire. And then the rest of the pole is over here. You can actually see the hole where the pole was sitting in. Where it snapped off. 